115 on Saturday and I am in a whole lot of pain <laughs> so yesterday's vlog ended abruptly I had that phone call with my friends took some Advil rested a bit hung out with friends came home and by the time I got home I decided that the back issue that I'm having really I think is like a sciatica nerve issue and um, so I started looking I talked to my brother about it because he's had something like that before I looked up some videos on what to do I googled it and so I did some stretches that I saw after that laid in the bed with the heating pad and then you know when I was tired I decided to go to bed and it was like as soon as I turned out the light to go to bed the pain just amplified for some reason like such bad pain like worse than the pain that I had after I had my myomectomy surgery like just felt unbearable back hurting sharp pain shooting down my leg burning throbbing which all fell in line with the symptoms that I read when I was googling sciatic nerve pain um, and so I didn't sleep well last night I slept very intermittently like in little chunks because I couldn't get comfortable or when I would find some random spot that made me comfortable I'd wake up a little bit later in pain I had to keep readjusting myself I'm a pretty neat sleeper but by the time I woke up this morning, blankets were everywhere, pillows were everywhere, because I was just so desperate to find like a comfortable position so I could rest. And so when I woke up this morning, um, I cried. <laughs> and I've cried a few times since last night, just from discomfort, frustration. And this morning it felt really bad. And I was crying because I'm like, I could barely walk on that foot, on that leg getting myself from my bed to the bathroom and it was just being overwhelmed by the thought of like how am I even going to be getting Riley in and out to use the bathroom how am I getting upstairs and downstairs how am I going to make the bed how am I going to take a shower how am I going to brush my teeth how am I going to wash my face when literally every everything feels uncomfortable so I laid on the floor for a while and cried I laid on the couch downstairs when I finally made it down there to let Riley out that in and of itself was a challenge um, I took some ibuprofen at the suggestion of my sister and some things that I read and I tried and did some more of the stretches but it was uncomfortable so I haven't stretched as much as I want to um, but I'm feeling a little bit in less pain than I did when I first woke up this morning but I'm still uncomfortable so my plan is to continue to use the heating pad because I have the heating pad on for most of the night and that did help reduce the amount of pain and like localize it a little bit more like if that even makes sense um, so I'm going to use the heating pad very frequently today take it easy on the couch I did not exercise or anything like that and if things don't get better and manageable by tomorrow then I'm gonna have to go to a chiropractor because it was so bad at one point that I was like I'm not even gonna because after I googled like the symptoms like it says the symptoms usually will dissipate within like a couple weeks and I'm like that would be teaching in a couple weeks and so just the tears were also like how am I even supposed to teach in this kind of pain how am I gonna lesson plan how am I gonna do anything and I'm in so much pain that I can't concentrate on anything but the pain that I'm in so that was part of my tears too. So I'm going to really actively work on heating, resting, and stretching today. And if I don't notice any difference from today and tomorrow, then I'm just going to have to do a pop in at a chiropractor office and see if they can help me out. My sister said that's what she had to do when she had this kind of pain and it helped her and go from there. Now with all of that, I cannot guarantee that I will be having much to say today besides to fill you in on the fact that I'm still in pain. <laughs> so I 
feel bad because yesterday's vlog ended abruptly and then today's I don't really know what it's gonna look like because I really just want to focus on like resting and breathing through the discomfort um, so if you've had sciatica nerve issues let me know what you've done how long did it take do you have any special suggestions that um, you'd like to share anything to help would be greatly appreciated so I'm just picking up a few items here at Target so that I have some food to eat and then I'm gonna go home and lay down and probably just watch episodes of Blackish or something so that's the plan right now quick update and probably last update of the day is I have been laying here since I got home from Target eight obviously but I've been laying here with this heating pad I don't know if you can see it it's right there this little blue heating pad on the whole time um, I took a little nap and then I think I woke up and then fell asleep again and now I'm awake I just finished eating a snack which was a honey crisp apple and some peanut butter if you're so interested and now I'm watching uh, blackish and it feels better in the sense that I don't feel a ton of pain or discomfort laying here and like I can't I'm not having the issue where I can't get comfortable laying down at all but I just got up and I took Riley out to use the bathroom and I was able to get up much easier and move about much easier than I was this morning like I darn near was crawling down the stairs to get him outside but as I was sitting outside and just kind of standing on this leg um, and it's my left leg it started to get uncomfortable and I was like I need to hurry up and get inside and kind of get off of it so I'm just trying to stay off of it as much as possible um, as far as tomorrow I think I think either way I'm probably gonna try and see a chiropractor unless like I'm drastically better in the morning but um, you haven't missed anything I haven't done anything at all like at all and I'm just trying to be okay with that because you know I need to take care of my body um, so like I said earlier if you have any tips any experience with this this is the first time I've felt it before I've experienced any sort of issue with sciatica um, is that how you say it why am I suddenly thinking that I'm saying that word wrong cicada so so that's pretty much it but again like I said earlier if you're having any if you've had any experience with this kind of discomfort and pain let me know what you did in the comment section um, but as always I hope that you are well <laughs> and if you're not well please be well and I will see you guys tomorrow